guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new to my channel, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I just wanted to give you guys like a little like around the house updates. Uh, I am in the middle of party prepping right now and that's why I was like, I wanted to get a video out for you guys. I have a lot of footage that I need to go through and there's no way I'm gonna do it in time. So I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek and then you guys will get to see the party prep video. So let me show you kind of what we've done so far and um, how Aubrey cleaned her room for the party as well as a couple other random updates from around the house. So I just got my little balloon arch done. If you guys are following my Instagram, you saw my little sneak peek of Anna and Elsa on our glass board, but I'm super happy with how that like table turned out. Still working on like dipping stuff and the cake, like the decorations for the cake, which is in here. I moved it from the freezer so that it could like kind of get down to the temperature of room temperature without like um it's called what is it called sweating i don't want it to sweat so i'm kind of transitioning it from the freezer to the fridge got some jello um then we got like all the drinks kind of like chilling in here to make it cold got some carrots ready so a lot of the food is already done i got all of like my trays laid out and labeled for like what they're going to be used for these are drying getting ready for dipping I'm gonna be doing like white chocolate dipped strawberries, so that'll be a thing. I made this little craft for the party as like a one of the prizes that you could win. It was actually really simple and it's all like Dollar Tree products. So, except for the paint, the paint was not, but um, I just really like how it turned out. I kind of will maybe make another one for myself. I got our little gift bags ready, things I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Luck lucky for me, Frozen 2 has, I don't know when it came out, but they have a lot of stuff in stock of Frozen 2 stuff, so it kind of fits. I origami some trees, made some little snowballs, got all of our like activities and stuff and games over here. I think everyone will have a lot of fun. And then this is fake snow that I made. So I'm excited to watch the kids play with that. We can make our own like snowflakes and make our own like little trolls. <laughs> so I'm excited to see, you know, how well everyone enjoys these activities. I also plan for some games. So uh, like pin the nose on Olaf and stuff like that. I did hang some homemade snowflakes like above the bathroom. So I could just say, follow the snowflakes to the bathroom. And I have also have some other stuff. So like, I gotta go get Jack soon, but I have let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore in the bathroom. I just thought it fit. I thought it was funny. I asked Aubrey to get all the, her toys off the floor so I could vacuum and she came up with a solution. We did move around her room. So we actually brought the bed in this room and she's been sleeping here and not in our bed. So that's been nice, but she wakes up and she, she knows where everything is in here, which is miraculous. She's even got little beds for Anna and Elsa. And then we got these little guys. You're trying to sleep? I said I This little guy can get up on his hands and knees and he's crawling now. But I will give you guys some more updates. I actually have to go to church so that tomorrow for the party, I will be here all morning kind of getting everything ready. So I'm thankful that we have vigil mass at our church so that I can worship earlier as my mom says. And yeah, maybe I'll, I'll give you guys an update on my pumpkins and I don't know, anything else that I can think of, but it's been a crazy couple weeks I've been preparing for this, but I feel like relatively not stressed at all. So I'm happy about that. So anyways, let me go on to mass and hand this little guy off to his daddy and I will check back in in a little bit. Say bye. All right, guys, I'm back home. Stayed a little bit longer at church because they had a ministry fair. So I wanted just to go see when I have a little bit more time on my hands without the kids, uh, what I could be involved in. But I'm back home and there's a Tesla on our driveway. Juan is like, I guess, test driving it or something. And he knows a number of the people will be interested in it at the party tomorrow. So that's why he got one to test. Kind of funny but i figured i'd come around the side gate and show you guys my pumpkins so i've kind of cleaned them up because there was like a lot up here that were dead or just kind of sucking water that needed to be given to these more healthy plants 
and there's a lot of flowers on here but like this one should be a pumpkin um there's like some other flowers got one right there that one fell off but I'm like really sad because all of these ones that like would turn into pumpkins um they're just like dying like I see a new one form and they get about like I want to say a nickel to a quarter you know like in diameter like they look like there's hope and then all of a sudden I come out and check on them and they're like wilted and brown and I don't know if it's been like really hot here it's been humid and rainy kind of like yesterday and today but aside from that it was like really really hot so I think maybe they're just I don't know dying from the heat but I'm just sad because I'm like my hope with all my pumpkins was like, I just want one. I want one good pumpkin. And I've gotten three that have like formed, given me hope and then died. So anyways, that's what's going on back here. Obviously if pumpkins are not my thing, I'll hopefully be able to successfully grow some other food out here and it will be, you know, productive, not productive, but it'll be fruitful, <laughs> pun intended. But let's go see what Juan did to set up for the party and I think just kind of wrap up this quick little sneak peek video. Okay, so Juan set up our tables. We got some that we borrowed from my sister and some that we got. Hopefully this will be enough comfortable seating for everyone, but I'm super excited for tomorrow. I do plan on hanging like snowflakes or something or streamers um, up above. We'll see. Juan doesn't really want me hanging anything to rip off the paint, but uh, hopefully I'll make it look pretty. One last cool thing is this, my mom picked this up from like a neighbor at a yard sale and it's this little kitchen. And I just loved how like it has little seating and it has its own little umbrella. There's some broken pieces, but this is a fun little addition to our yard that was like many years old. But anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video and supporting my channel. Stay tuned for all of my upcoming videos on my party prep stuff. Uh, I have, like I said, I have a lot of footage to edit, but I hopefully won't disappoint and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.